So before that, I'm going to uh, get our next speaker uh, into the podium, inshallah. Uh, it's going to be Honorable Radhika Sitsabesan. She's the MP for Scarborough Rouge River. As, as most of us are, and I'm saying as most of 90% of us are, as we are born in Sri Lanka, uh, Radhika was also born in Sri Lanka and migrated to Canada with her family at the age of five. She entered politics at very early ages as a volunteer, as a volunteer worker. She's an ardent volunteer worker since of the age of nine. Radhika has been making a difference at grassroots level as a volunteer and community organizer in various capacities. She is the youngest member of the parliament in the Greater Toronto area. Also, she is the first female member to represent Scarborough Rouge River. Also, as we know, she was a great Aden speaker and then a great well supporter of our cause as we were doing our presentation at our protest in the Queen's Park. She was talking on behalf of our, for the Muslims as well as for everybody, as just like all other speakers who talk for the correct for the justice and for the peace and for the justice. So in this regard, we are going to have uh, Chala Radhika Sitsabes. Yes, thank you. I'm not as tall as him. Bismillah rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, everybody. I know you haven't been fed yet. I know the food fest is happening and everybody can smell the food and you're excited about it. But I have a practice. When somebody greets me, I greet them back. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, young man. Good evening, sisters and brothers. And I'm very happy to be here and thank you to our Brother MC for that gracious introduction. Um, the Ceylon Muslim Foundation of Canada is an organization that's really an integrated voice for Sri Lankans Muslims living here in our communities. And for decades, the former associations before forming the Ceylon Muslim Foundation focused on addressing the issues that the Sri Lankan Muslim community faced as well as promoting a strong voice. And I want to say thank you to you all for coming together to making sure that you form one unified voice. Because as you, you all know very well, and you are living proof of it, that having a united voice, we stand stronger. And divided, others can come in between us. So we must continue to stand together and stand united. So thank you for your leadership for all people who are here or who are around the world from Sri Lankan heritage. Tonight's event, the, the Celebration of Islamic History Month in Canada, recognizes the contributions by, made by the many, many Muslim scholars and inventors who have, given, who have high achievements in the field of arts, sciences, community development, and many more. And I know the food is coming too, I know. I know. I can feel it inside my stomach as well. And Canada, we, we're a country that brings the whole world together. And we strive for, the, to strive for the importance of celebrating heritage and the heritage of so many of our newcomers from all over the world. And uh, for over a thousand years, Many Muslims have had very momentous contributions to the well-being of humanity as a whole, and most importantly, also here in this country that we all now call home in Canada. And as many of our, the sisters and brothers in the room know, and I know all of you know, on this exact date, October 25th, 2014, is the first day of the Islamic calendar, Hijri, 1436, and I know it's right there, so I know you all know. It's New Year's Day. So, Happy New Year, Happy Muharram, Muharram Nalvartakar, Puduverida Nalvartakar. I've, I've been talking and I know, how many of you in the room understand Tamil? Okay, so maybe about half of the room? I've been told more of you understand Tamil. 
All right. I'll say a few words in Tamil later, I guess, then. Um, tonight, we're here to celebrate the past, the past achievements, the present that we have, and that is our brotherhood and our sisterhood. The present that we have today to share is the blessing of being here and to be in one another's company. The present that we have today is our youth, those young, young girls, our sisters who sang beautifully for us. Those are one of the many presents we have for today. And also to practice and to remember and to get ready for the future. To a future where we stand together. A future where, like my colleague mentioned, where we don't have to worry about Islamophobia. A future where we don't have the media or anybody in our country pointing a finger to one person, one group, or one religion, saying, you are the cause of fear or terror, which is not true. The future where we stand together, united as a country, united as a people who stand with love, who stand with hope, and who stand with peace. Because every single... I had a meeting with the, with the Islamic Foundation right bef before I came here. And the only message I have ever received from the Zakaria Mosque, I, when I go to Islamic foundations or here at the Islamic Institute, is of peace and love. So why is it that people who don't know you as a person or as a group or as a community like to say that anybody of the Islamic faith is not someone with love and peace? Why is that? And why is it that we, as a community, are even willing to tolerate it for a minute? Nah. Why is it that we're willing to tolerate it for a second? Are you willing to tolerate it for a second? Because I know I'm not. Only one brother in this room said he's not willing to tolerate it. Let's try this again, sisters and brothers in this room, as we are here to celebrate this new year. Will you all stand with me? Will you stand with me and say we will not tolerate hatred? These young men here are with me. I'm very proud of them because they are our future. If they are willing to stand up strong and proud of who they are and of their identity, then we know that we have a future where our young people will grow up to stand strong and proud for who they are and their heritage, their culture, their religion, and what they believe in. So thank you. So I had a written speech and stuff, but as you know, anybody who knows me knows that I don't stay to paper. I don't stick to paper and I speak from the heart. So I want to say thank you to all of you because I have probably already taken up more time than I was allotted. Oh, they're being patient with me. I love it. Thank you so much. So, Tata Party Marode, Undra Hair Kralum Loading, Pudavaradam Kondadra the Lun Mele Manam Kuliradu and Ilarudi Vairam Kunyadil and Rambidam and Nakarana, Pakalachimudikarna, Padan would have Vaitukla Sapa to over Likadamantarium, Totangalamatarium, so Nankananarium Pace of Rimbele, Idalam Ungludi in the Pudavarida Kondata Ulungu Parthina. Silan Muslim Foundation, Kuruvina Ranevarakum, and the Manamar and the Nandri Territakundu, in a Tondaraha, Panipur in the Hondurkum, Anaitu Ulangalakum, Nandri Territakundu, Nan Anglodia Pudia Janana Kachi in Talever, Thomas Malker, Indeke, Puduverda Mandru, Puduverda Kaha, 
விட்ட அறிக்கையை நான் மிக கெதி கெதியில் வாசிச்சுட்டு எங்களுடைய தலைவர் பிரதர் இத்திகார் மேலே ஒரு வாழ்த்து மடல் நான் கொண்டு வந்திருக்கிறேன் அதை வாங்குறதுக்காக மேடை கலைக்கிறேன் So here is the statement by the official opposition leader Tom Mulcair on the Islamic New Year. It reads, The leader of the New Democratic Party made the following statement. The beginning of the new Islamic year is a commemoration of the moment that the Prophet Muhammad left Mecca with a handful of disciples to escape persecution and to found a pious community in which all citizens would be equal. On this first day of the sacred month of Muharram, Muslims in Canada and around the world are preparing to observe fast and pray for for peace, human solidarity and a better fate for the least fortunate. Today I would like to offer all Canadian Muslims my best wishes for a healthy, happy and prosperous new year. That's by Thomas Mulcair, the leader of Canada's official opposition. And I brought with me a certificate of appreciation from the Parliament for the Ceylon Muslim Foundation of Canada, and I'd like to read it to you and present it to Brother Iftikhar. It reads, on this occasion of celebrating Islamic History Month of Canada, the Ceylon Muslim Foundation of Canada serves as an outstanding organization for many members of the Muslim community. The Ceylon Muslim Foundation was suggested by lawyer Faiz Mustafa, to bring Sri Lankan Muslims together and give to them a unified voice in Canada. All foundations came together and introduced this foundation on 22nd June 2012, and since then it has been an outstanding establishment in our community. I extend my sincere congratulations to the Ceylon Muslim Foundation of Canada, and I wish you the greatest success in the years to come. It is signed by myself, Radhika Sitsabais, and the Member of Parliament for Scarborough Rouge River. But I present it to you knowing that Thomas Mulcair is with me and the entire New Democrats are with me on this. So thank you so much, and congratulations to all of you. Have a good night. Thank you very much, Radhika, once again. Yeah, hold on. So thank you very much uh, for coming by and then uh, giving us this part, uh, the certificate as well and acknowledging our contribution to the Canadian society and then we thank you again for that. And uh, to present the token of appreciation, I have Brother Akil Osman. He is the president of Zaira College, Colombo Old Boys uh, Association of Toronto. It's the first school association which was formed in Toronto and in Canada. So I have I'm asked Brother Akil Osman to present the token of appreciation.